Today we will visit three places on a day trip from Tbilisi. Barjomi, the resort town with famous mineral water, Vardia, a cave monastery, and Rabatia castle. There will be a lot of images of mountains while driving. I would like to show you how picturesque the road was during the trip. Barjomi is located 160 km from Tbilisi in the beautiful Barjomi Gorge and is noted for its mineral water industry. There are some beautiful historical buildings in the town and one of them is a Persian palace hosting a cafe now. It was built in 19th century and it was a house of Consul of Iran in Georgia. Barjomi water is a naturally carbonated mineral water from the artesian springs in the valley, a fed by water that filters from glaciers covering the peaks of Bakuriani mountains at the altitude of 2300 meters. The water rises to the surface without pumping and it's transported by pipes to Dupudalim plants in the town of Barjomi. The Barshomi Springs were discovered by the Imperial Russian military in the 1820s, since it became a popular tourist destination. The history of the brand is closely associated with the Russian Imperial dynasty of Romanov, who built the first bottling plant in Barshomi. Next stop is a small local restaurant with a friendly family offering the nice freshly made food. I ordered the roasted trout with the baked eggplants. You can also enjoy the great views outside. And now attention, this is a highlight of our trip, Vardze, Cave Monastery. Can you see the holes in the rocks? This is where we go. The small electric bus taking us to the top of the hill to the entrance of the caves. Vardia Monastery is located on the slopes of Arusheti mountain, on the left bank of Kora river. The main period of construction was the second half of 12th century. The caves stretch along the cliff for some 500 meters and then up to 19 tires. The monastery was an important cultural center, a place of significant literary and artistic work. The excavation have shown that the area of Vardia was inhibited during the Bronze Age and some cave settlements were from 5th century BC, while rock cut architecture is known from the 6th century AD. The Greater Vartia area includes 15 churches. The most significant is the Church of Darmitian, dating to the 1180s, during the Golden Age of Tamara and Rustaveli, and has an important series of wall paintings. The monastery, according to chronicles, contained a large amount of valuables from silver, gold and precious stones, indicating its economic prosperity. Construction on the site continued also after Tamar's death. The site was largely abandoned after Ottoman takeover in the 16th century. Now it is a part of State Heritage Reserve and is submitted for future inscription on the UNESCO World Heritage List.
The last stop is Rabati Castle. It's a medieval fortress built in the 9th century under the name of Lomzia Castle, which can be translated from Georgian as a lion. The complex originally consisted of three parts, the castle, the surrounded citadel and the greater city. The castle was surrounded by three ramparts and was connected with adjacent terraces by tunnels. Within the citadel, there was a large courtyard with a church, mosque and a palace. The castle suffered from the attacks of the turco mongol armies of Tamerlan in the 14th century. It became under Ottoman rule in the 16th century, and eventually, during the Turkish-Russian War, it was taken by the Russian Imperial Army in the early 19th century. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.